Westbrook Technologies format simplifies form creation, distribution, submission, and archiving processes by taking a manual process to the digital realm. Any form can be created using format. Because the forms are electronic, images, and even videos can be embedded. Forms created in Formit improve the user experience by providing not only a simple means to supply information, but also instant feedback to make sure the form is filled out accurately. Formit provides instant notification, kicks off automated workflows, and feeds other business applications. Let's take a look at some of the features Formit forms can include using a human resources form as an example. Required fields are denoted by a red asterisk. These fields must be filled out or the form cannot be submitted. Once they are filled out, the asterisk will disappear. You can also set up date fields. You can use a date picker to choose a date, or in this case, which is a date of birth, which might be a little bit hard to scroll back through, you can enter it in a normal format. Format will automatically adjust the format to be correct. Electronic forms can also have built-in help and instruction. In this case, on the social security number, I have a tooltip that shows when I hover. Or, if I click the little help icon, I get the exact formats that are allowed in this field. We can also build in data validation. So if I enter this in the correct format, it will allow me to leave that value there. But if I were to put a wrong format in, it will tell me immediately, so I can go back and correct it. So applying that to the phone number here, I can check the help, it shows me the formats that I can use, and then I can go ahead and enter my phone number. You'll notice that it checks the validity as soon as I stop typing. I'm going to continue filling out the form. Here I'll enter the address, and then we'll get to a part that's a little more interesting. The city, state, and zip have been set up to access a database for the information. So you can't fill out a city without first selecting a state. When you select the state, it shows cities only for that state. So if you go and choose your state and then your city, it will automatically populate your zip code. This is accomplished with an external database connection. We can use tabs to organize our form. Tabs whose labels are in red have required items in them. Here's another example of how we can provide instructions and information. We can configure the color of the box to draw attention to it. This part of the form shows how we can apply conditional items. I fill in the information at the top, and then if I choose to deposit a partial amount of my paycheck, I'm provided with a second set of fields for the second account. As I continue to fill out the form, you'll notice that some of the fields have information specific to a certain form, and others have more generic information. That's because this is one electronic form, and it's used to populate four separate PDFs in the repository. Here's another example of how complex instructions and information can be presented on an electronic form so they are not distracting or overwhelming. Finally, we fill out the Signatures tab. The checkbox is required, and checking it shows that I have read and agree with the statement. I can upload a digital image of my signature. And now that all the required fields are finished, I can click Continue on the form. Opening Fortis, we can see that three documents have been populated into the system. If we look at these documents closely, 
we see that all of the information we've entered has been added to the PDF form, including the digital image of my signature. Additionally, information from the form has populated the index fields. What you may notice now is that we are missing one of the forms, the I-9. That's because there's more that needs to be finished on it. An email is automatically sent out to a manager with a link to take them to sign in. Once they've signed in, they can see that they have a new I-9 form that they need to complete and choose to perform that task. This will open up a section for them to complete. When they're done, they click Finish and the form will be submitted to Fortis. Now, back in Fortis, we can see that the I-9 form has been submitted. We can open it up and we can see that the section with the employee information is filled out as well as the section for the HR Director's information. Because the HR Director logs in, their signature and name are automatically populated. As you have seen, Westbrook Technologies format saves time and money. All of the hassles of producing, distributing, and collecting printed forms are eliminated. Corrections and changes can be made dynamically, and since the forms are digital, there are no mailing, storage, or disposal costs. With Westbrook Technologies format, it is easier, faster, and more accurate than ever to produce, distribute, collect, archive, and retrieve forms. For more information on Westbrook Technologies format, send an email to info at westbrooktech.com or use the Contact Us link on our website at www.westbrooktech.com.